Hello, good morning, guys. Namaste and welcome back to another vlog. So today's plan is that I am at Vantimettu Temple. So yesterday, as you can see, the temple there. Yesterday night, I slept there uh, in the tent. It was a beautiful experience. But this temple be belongs to Ram. So let's go and uh, check it out about the history. So this temple is dedicated to Lord Rama and Devi Sita. Ancient legends say that this famous Vantimettu temple is built in a single day by passionate devotees of Bhagwan Sri Rama, who are called Vantudu and Mittudu. After construction of this wonderful temple with 32 pillars, both devotees sacrificed their lives and transformed into statues. Even today you can find them at the entrance of the temple. Famous poet Andhra Valmiki who had translated Ramayanam into Telugu and dedicated to Lord Rama here. It was the official temple for conducting Sri Rama Navami celebrations declared by Andhra Pradesh state government. Another interesting fact about this temple is that it is the only temple in India where Sri Rama Kalyanam is celebrated at nights. Mahakavi Bhammara Potana spent his whole life here praising Sri Rama and finally dedicated his Mahabhagavatam to God in Montimittu. It is believed that Lord Jambavata has placed the Lord Rama ideal in this temple. So this character Jambavata has a very important role which most of us don't know. So let me put some light on it because when I read about him it was mind blowing. So a thought to share with you guys too. So Jambavan, the immortal half-man, half-bear, who saw Rama and Lakshmana, Jambava was the son of Brahma, the creator of the universe. He was created by Brahma to assist Rama in the battle against Ravana. Jambavan, in his previous life, was the king of Himalaya, who has incarnated as a bear in order to serve Lord Rama. He received a boon from Lord Rama that he would have a long life and have the strength of 10 million lions in the epic Ramayana. Jambavata helped Rama find his wife Sita and help fighting against Ravana. It is he who makes Hanuman realize his immense capability and encourage him to fly across the ocean to search for Sita in Lanka. It was my honor to be at this place and to know the interesting facts about our culture. Hope you will also visit this place once in your life.